I was safe, but I, I think I was safe for a purpose. Um, you know, there's nothing else special about me. I was safe because I think that hopefully I can get the message across that this is a horrible disease, but every everyone can do their part. And unlike so many other tragedies you hear of in the news, you know, like a tsunami here or a hurricane here, you can say, I wish I, could, I had done something for it. I wish I could do something for it. And you can, you can donate money. You could even go there and volunteer. But being a stem cell donor, you can do that and it will make a difference. I'm living proof that it's gonna make a difference. The Canadian Blood Services One Match Stem Cell and Marrow Network is a program dedicated to recruiting healthy, committed volunteer donors for patients like Shamir in need of stem cells. One Match also coordinates searches for matching donors and patients, ensures donors are healthy and able to donate, and coordinates the collection of stem cells in Canada and around the world. So, what is a stem cell? Stem cells are immature cells that can form into any type of cell contained in our bloodstream. Well, that means red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Patients who can't produce these cells will require a transplant from a donor. Certain diseases like cancer, leukemia, lymphoma, or myeloma. Certain bone marrow deficiency diseases such as thalassemia, sickle cell disease, and aplastic anemia, which is the lack of normal blood cell production. Today, if you are a black, Chinese, South Asian, or Filipino patient in need of a stem cell transplant, your chances of finding a donor are not as good as they could be because there simply are not enough available donors from these groups. And it's more likely that you will find a matching donor from within your own community. 70% of the people out there are gonna, who are faced with this diagnosis are not going to find a match in their family and they're going to have to go to the registry. The more that our population in the registry looks like our population in, in general, the higher probability the next person is looking for a match. Eventually, the breakdown of the population will, will mirror our population in the community as a whole. Medical experts know certain diseases are more prevalent in specific ethno-cultural groups. This is why we need your help. It's a very quick and easy thing to do. I decided to join One Match because I'm an immigrant and I know that there's a huge need for people of ethnic diversity in Canada for the registry. So I figure I'm young, I'm a part of the demographic, why not join? We want you to make the decision to join One Match today. And it's so easy. You register to join One Match online. All you have to do is visit www.onematch.ca. There, you'll be asked to fill out some basic information on the online registration form. See if you can be the one match to save a life. Take the first step and join a national movement of over 230,000 Canadians who have joined One Match and are committed to helping any patient anywhere in the world. Here's what you do. Read the information provided so that you can understand clearly what being a donor means. Answer the questionnaire, and then see how you scored. Now, fill out the personal information. Make sure that you answer all of the questions. Submit the form. See? That was easy. Within a few days, a one-match staff member will contact you. If you are still committed to joining, a buckle swab kit will be sent to you. This kit will be mailed directly to your home with simple instructions and a postage paid return envelope. A buckle swab looks like a long cotton Q-tip, and the top of the swab is rubbed on the inside of the cheek to collect cells. This method is both safe and painless. Okay, you've received your kit. Open it up and read the instructions. Now follow the instructions. Fill out the labels and complete the swabbing process. Put the swabs back in the envelope. Now seal the envelope 
And that's it. Once returned, the Canadian Blood Services HLA lab will add your information to the database. One match maintains a database of all Canadian prospective donors. Whenever a patient requires a stem cell transplant, one match is able to search this database to identify potential matching donors. And because Canadian Blood Services' one match is a member of an international network of registries, we can also search more than 12 million donors on over 60 registries in other countries. So, what do we mean by a match? Donors and patients are matched according to the compatibility of inherited genetic markers called human leukocyte antigens, or HLA. These antigens are inherited from your parents. Up to 12 antigens are considered important in the matching process. You know, I used to be very stressed about all the little things, and now I wake up in the morning and, hey, I'm awake, I'm alive, and, you know, I can't take that for granted uh, anymore. So, yeah, we all have our issues, we have all, all have our problems, but, you know, when faced with something like cancer that could possibly kill you, um, to now be living, you know, every day is is a blessing. I think that everybody that's healthy should share their health with others and, and give them an opportunity to be healthy as well, especially those of us that have everything, then we should share that with others. There aren't as enough registrants to match up with all the people that need it. So anytime someone like me can register, I know that adds one other person to potentially help save a life. So what happens if you are a match? If that should happen, you could save a life. What a wonderful feeling. If you are a match, the first thing that will happen will be that a one-match registered nurse will determine if you are in good health. Then you will go through a variety of blood tests. Then you start what's called the workup process. A case manager will guide you and support you throughout the entire donation process. The transplant physician will conduct a physical examination to ensure that you meet all of the health criteria for unrelated donors. The physician will also brief you on all of the risks and benefits to the procedure. If at this point you are the best match and consent to continue with the procedure, the donation will be scheduled. There are two options for donating and that will depend on the patient's needs. Bone marrow stem cell donations, and peripheral blood stem cell donations. So as you can see, we need you. You can provide hope to a patient and their family and friends during this difficult time. You could be the one match that saves a life. I have two guardian angels in my life. My wife, Farzana, and my donor. Without either of them, I would not be alive today. Thank you.